For the second day in a row, the union representing LCBO workers and the Crown Corporation were back at the bargaining table trying to hammer out a deal to end the strike. Today, the workers' strike pay kicked in, putting more pressure on the union to come to an agreement. Adam Atkinson joining us live now to break down what exactly LCBO employees will receive while they walk the picket line. Good evening, Adam. Good evening, Matt. Well, it is not a lot. $50 a day, $250 a week. But picketers I spoke with at a rally on Hamilton Mountain today say they're struggling financially now so they can secure more financial security and job security in the future. You know what? It's surprisingly invigorating. We've got so much support from the community, and we didn't expect this. We see the writing on the wall, uh, we're connecting the dots and we know that things may not be extremely dire for this contract, but next contract we may not be around. Local LCBO workers were joined by other union members from across the country today at a rally on Hamilton Mountain. This is not about wages, this is about protecting uh, jobs, good value jobs that the um, province has a tendency of keeping people contracted as contracted workers for a very, very long time, uh, which is not sustainable. People can't live like that, not in this day and age. Well, we're basically fighting for job security. I know there's a lot of talk about uh, wages and, and benefits and that kind of stuff. Of course, we want that too. But the main thing we want to do is keep our jobs so that we can keep pumping revenue into the province. Hey, hey, ho, ho. Terry McMaster has been with the LCBO for 27 years. She's frustrated the Ford government let it get to this. And it really, it's embarrassing that he's doing this to us. He, he didn't even let us know he was going to privatize our warehouses and do bring ready to drink into the stores. On this second day of renewed negotiations, the picketers' strike pay kicks in to the tune of $50 a day for a maximum of $250. It's really, really hard, especially on the young ones that are here. They already weren't getting enough hours as it is, and then now they're getting nothing. And, you know, where are they going to pay their bill? What are they going to pay their bills with? But I think you can see here today that uh, nobody's bending, nobody's uh, stepping down, and everybody's showing up in spite of the fact that we only get paid $50 a day. A little R-E-S-P-E-C-T is what these workers say they're looking for from the Ford government so they can have a future with the LCBO. I've worked for the LCBO for 27 years and I'm here today for these people because I'm already in my last two to three years so I'm going to be retiring. This is my last contract but I want good jobs for good people and a great Ontario. Unfortunately, we don't have an update on how negotiations went today, but the picketers I spoke with say they are determined to see this through despite their financial situation, not only for them, but for the future of the LCBO.